Hello friends, I'm Alicia and I work at LACMA. Welcome to Andel Family Sundays Anytime. Hola amigos, me llamo Alicia y trabajo en LACMA. Bienvenidos a Domingos en Familia Andel cuando quieras. I am super thrilled to introduce LACMA High School intern Priscilla. Priscilla will teach us to make our own batik textile using items you probably have at home. Estoy super contenta de inclusir a Priscilla, un estudiante de escuela secundaria participando en un programa pasante en LACMA. Priscilla nos enseñará cómo hacer un textil batik con materiales que seguramente tienen en casa. Priscilla's student internship is generously supported through Exploring the Arts. El programa pasante estudiantil de Priscilla está generosamente apoyado por Exploring the Arts. Here is my batik. Aquí está mi batik. I want to give you a heads up. This project is perfect for kids and adults to collaborate. There are multiple steps that will need more than one set of hands, and the project uses hot wax that'll need adult supervision. Ojo, este proyecto es perfecto para colaboración entre niños y adultos. Hay varios pasos y necesitarán más de un par de manos. Además, este proyecto usa cera caliente Así que es necesario tener supervisión de un adulto. Now settle in for the video. Ahora alístense para el video. Hi, my name is Priscilla DeLing and I'm 17 years old. I'm currently a senior at LACES, aka Los Angeles Center for Enriched Studies, and a high school intern at LACMA through the Exploring the Arts program. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own traditional Indonesian fabric called batik. Indonesia is a country made up of more than 17,000 islands in Southeast Asia. It's known for its beautiful beaches, flavorful food, and rich culture. Both of my parents are from the capital city Jakarta and moved to Los Angeles, California in 2001. The reason that batik is so important in Indonesian culture is that it symbolizes joy, happiness, and prosperity. Before COVID-19, I used to wear batik to my Indonesian church, St. Stephen's in East Los Angeles for special holidays such as Indonesian Independence Day. Wearing batik has made me feel more connected with my culture and truly strengthens the gap that living in America has made. First, start by melting your wax by putting old crayons and candles in an oven-safe container. I put the oven on at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and left it in for around 10 to 15 minutes. While your wax is melting, you can start by drawing on designs on your piece of fabric. For this clip, I chose just random designs like hearts and stars, flowers, and any other things that you'd like. You can even draw a whole scenery like the example shown, or you can just have fun with it. Either way, it's your project. Then grab your paintbrushes and dip them into the wax. Use the wax to paint your designs. The areas where you will apply the wax are what are going to end up uncolored from the dye. You can take your time with this step. And if you need to reheat your wax in the oven, do so. It's much easier to paint when it's more warm and liquidy rather than hard and chalky. After you've finished applying your wax, you can begin to start painting with the dye. If you're using food coloring or Kool-Aid, remember to mix your colors with water so it's easier to work with. Here I am just mixing it with a brush in a separate container. With a brush, you can get a more precise application of the dye. 
in case you want to change colors or make another cool design in the background. You can also just submerge your entire piece of fabric into the dye if you're just sticking with one color. We can now proceed to the final step. Take your newspapers and place your batik in between the sheets of newspaper. Use your iron on the low medium setting to go over the newspapers and absorb the wax. It's a little bit time consuming, however, the end result is completely worth it. For my project, I absorb just a little bit of wax so I can leave little cracks in the areas where I place the wax. Once you are satisfied with the number of cracks you have, you can paint over them with black dye. If black dye is inaccessible to you, you can also trace the cracks with a black sharpie or black fabric pen. I didn't have either of these to my disposal, so I used a black whiteboard marker. It still works pretty well. And you're done! I turned my piece into a headband, also another headband, blindfold, the options are really endless here. Another headband to keep my hair up for the hot LA summer. Some terrible extensions. And something to tie up a wound for an apocalypse. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed making art today with us. It was so lovely to teach you all about Batik. Thank you for watching! Thank you so much, Priscilla. Muchisimas gracias, Priscilla. What did you like best about this activity video? Tell me in the comment section. The Andel Family Sunday team misses making art with families in person. We would love to hear from you. ¿Qué es lo que más les gustó de este video? Dime en los comentarios. El equipo de Domingos en Familia Andel les extraña muchísimo. Nos encantaría oír de ustedes. Watch videos made especially for you on LACMA's YouTube channel and please like and subscribe. Mira videos hechos especialmente para ustedes en el canal de YouTube de LACMA. Y por favor, danos un like y suscríbanse. Until next time, hasta la próxima vez. Land Acknowledgement. LACMA respectfully acknowledges that the lands on which our museum is built and the region that we serve is the ancestral and unceded territory of the Gabrielino Tongva, Gabrielino Quich, Fernandeño Tatapiam, and Vetureño Chumash peoples. Los Angeles County has been and is home to many indigenous peoples whose ancestral lands are here and elsewhere. As an art museum and a collecting institution, LACMA recognizes the role we and similar institutions play in the continual displacement of indigenous peoples from their lands, the theft of cultural objects and ancestors from their native care, uh, caretakers, and the erasure and mar marginalization of indigenous artists and the stories museums tell. We are committed to working to dismantle the ongoing effects of this colonial legacy, building networks of support with and for indigenous art communities and tribes and being better stewards of the lands we occupy. This acknowledgement marks LACMA's commitment to interrogating our own position in the structural conditions of settler colonialism and how we can work to dismantle them. As such, this statement is a work in progress and will continue to evolve through this process. Priscilla and I filmed this video from our homes in Los Angeles on Tongva, Keech, and Chumash land. Thank you.